In this video, I'm going to discuss how to manage your digital teaching presence. Firstly, you need to set some ground rules. Do you have an open office policy for your students? Can they just drop in any time and expect you to be there and speak to them? You probably give set times to students when you know you will A, be in your office and B, have time to speak to them. You may even have some kind of booking system. Just because digital spaces are available 24-7 doesn't mean that you have to be present in them 24-7, however tempting that might be. Decide and share those ground rules with your team and most importantly with your students and reinforce them as and when necessary. As part of your overall course or programme design, you need to be clear about what digital spaces you will be present in and when you will be there. For teaching, I think it's sensible for your main digital presence to be focused within the virtual learning environment and your course area. I always like to think of a course VLE area as the hub for that course, whatever delivery mode you're using. It should be an easy to navigate, accessible map of the course that students come back to to find out what's happening each week, to see where and when activities and assessments are taking place, to submit assessments, to get feedback and to engage. As part of your introduction to the course, you can tell students when and where you will be online, when they can expect replies to digital communications and activities. It's up to you when you'll be available, but remember, you need to manage student expectations about this and they need to know that it isn't always possible to get an immediate response. Of course, there can be mitigating circumstances and an immediate response is needed, but it doesn't have to become the norm. If you're part of a teaching team, which you probably are, then as a team, work out times that the team will be available for all your students, taking turns as is needed to cover all the time zones you need to cover when you're teaching globally. Just as you would do with campus-based teaching, think about timings for tutorials, remembering that students may be based in different time zones and plan your time accordingly. Also, think about your campus-based commitments too, Fully online teaching and digitally blended teaching can take up a lot of time. 